Hi, and welcome to this series of short VRV Network and Service Companion how-to videos. This video will show us how to run an Ethernet test on the Companion. Here we can see we're logged into the Companion now using VRV's mobile tech app. And we said we're going to check the Ethernet, so one check Ethernet is the option that we select. And when we do, you see we're offered a series of profiles. And typically an engineer in the field may have three different profiles on there, perhaps for three different speeds that has been sold to the customer. And all the engineer simply needs to do is hit the start button to get the test running. It's as simple as that. And I think you can see from the screen, we start off at the layer one, at the physical uh, layer, and you can see there we're connected to a one gig uh, capable port and auto negotiate is set onto that port. At layer two, the ethernet layer, you can see the bytes being received and the bytes being sent. So the engineer knows that something's happening on the screen. And in addition to that, at layer three, we can see the network IP address, in this case, ending in 133. So that's shown that an IP address has been allocated to the companion. On the next layer, on the network ping, you can also see now the delay and the fact that 10 um, packets have been sent, ping requests, and 10 have been received. So that's passed OK too. And finally, we go up to layer four. This is the TCP uh, or UCLA test. And you can see that in this case, we've got just over 950 megs on the upstream and just less than 936 megs on the downstream. So they were the speeds that are provided to this customer. And you can see on the left hand side, there's some nice green ticks. And these ticks show us that all of those various layers, one all the way up through to four, have passed OK. So the full test has been completed using a profile, in this case, Ethernet Ookla. Other things we can do is have a look in a bit more detail at these test results. So if I go to the Ookla speed test and there's a little button to the right of it and push the button, you can see it opens up the details to give a bit more in the way of detail of that particular result. So it's confirming there the results. You can see them quite clearly on the display on the graphs. It's confirming the delay and it's shown us that the minimum upload throughputs and the minimum download throughputs has been set for this particular test to 700 megs. So if we had something less than 700, we would have had a fail rather than a pass. So you can see it's a fairly quick and easy test to run. And probably the last thing the engineer would want to do is to save this test. So I'm selecting save on the bottom and then generate report. The companion is now generating the report and this report is being generated and will be sent automatically up into the crowd. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful.